Hi guys, welcome to Plasma. I've made a few minor changes to Plasma and that's the ISO of uh, a few minutes ago, right? For the one from January. And um, you have it also today, of course, if you update, you have the same things, right? It's uh, rolling. Um, of course, I did not do a scale. This is a clean install. So all the references, the packages, the files, what I'm going to explain are in here right it's a clean install one of the first things I noticed is configure desktop and wallpaper we have made sure that there are more beautiful wallpapers of ours in here so up here are choices apply apply this one I like as well very neat very clean soft for the eyes the fishies are still in <laughs> yep and so on so that's been taken care of ctrl alt t is something else sometimes people they like blur for some reason right personal preferences if you do ctrl t you get this console right mouse click switch profile arconix and arconix blur right that's a new thing so now you have this blurred if you change wallpaper you uh, see a little bit through it you see the fishies behind it that's one thing if you want to set it forever and ever and ever you need to edit the current profile and say this is going to be my default profile forever and ever so next time around if you do a ctrl t again it's going to be blurred now the next thing is yakuake that's this thing i always use yakuake to update and have a look and well, we've had our share of updates these days of uh, packages. So Tuesday, it was no different than Monday the 13th. So a lot of KDE stuff coming in. And then the Yakuake. Super, Shift, Enter. Super, Shift, Enter. And then Home, Control H, Config. Yeah, it's not that easy, it seems, right? You need to find the file Yakuake RC. And then you open it with Sublime Text or another editor. And in here it says appearance blur false. You say true. And translucency you say true as well. Let's zoom in a little bit so people have can type it over. Appearance blur equals true. Translucency is true. Control S. Saved. Now don't I suppose you have common sense to realize this is not gonna change on the fly. That means you do not well, either reboot or we just say kill Yakuake and then it's gone, right? F12 is not working anymore. Ah, it's broken. No. When we launch it again, it's gonna read the RC and then let's have a look. F12 is gonna be looking like this. So if we do an Alt N, we see some wallpapers behind and change it maybe. We can have a look around F12, how it looks. You see a slide, not very much. Don't want to be to have too much interference between coding or codes and the background. So it's blurred, but it's very, very faint. But again, right, choices, you go in, go ahead edit current profile super simple any of these guys right the only thing you need to do don't don't uh, don't look at this arch wiki there's the explanation of why but uh, don't mind go to edit and here is your background transparency so blur background and background background transparency is actually why how you can change it a little bit to your own setting a little bit more transparent Hmm, might go for this one. I don't know. Preference of the day, right? Anyway, that's what I wanted to share. So the Plasma desktop got a few wallpapers neatly packed away here. And we got ourselves a blur terminal. If you want it, then you can set it. All right. Cheers. P.S. The sound was via a webcam. So don't bother telling the sound was no good. All right. Cheers.